you want to unlock the potential of your IKEA kitchen? If you want to unlock the potential of your kitchen renovation, then this is the video for you. I have 10 tips on how to help you get the most out of your kitchen renovation starting right now. IKEA is a system. So for every one cabinet box, there's basically unlimited potential for the types of door, drawer, hardware accessories and whatnot that can go with that cabinet. Simply put, all of their parts go with all their other parts. So you don't have to think about whether or not something works with something else or will this door style fit with this cabinet. The answer is yes. They all fit together and they're all meant to work together. Even down to their accessories and the inserts that they put inside their cabinets, they're all designed to fit with one another so that really you don't need to have any other options. You don't need to go anywhere else. Everything you need is within one roof and you can buy it all in one place. This makes it extremely easy for you to mix and match styles and not have to worry about whether or not they're going to fit or if those components are the right components. All the components are the right components because that's how they set up their system. Before you get into your IKEA kitchen, before you start designing, it is a good thing to know that IKEA sizes are a little bit different than other RTA cabinet lines and even custom manufacturers. Most RTA cabinets have a bigger selection of sizes for their base and wall cabinets. IKEA is missing some key ones in my opinion. They don't have nine inch cabinets, they don't have 27 inch, and they don't have 33 inch cabinets. When it comes to their base corners, even though I don't like base corners, there are a few sizes there that they're missing as well that I think they would benefit from if they had them. Is this a make it or break it thing? Well, obviously not. They've done quite well with their kitchen system to not have those things. I think it would be a little more complete if they did. So how do you get around this? Well, you just have to design it in such a way where you don't need those size cabinets and then that takes a little extra prep and planning so that you can make the kitchen look beautiful, symmetrical, functional while not having to need those sizes. Now, this is me talking and they obviously think that it's not worth adding those sizes to their lineup. So, you know, I guess it's not that big a deal, but for me, a kitchen designer and looking at what other systems out there offer, it might be nice to have those sizes included in their lineup. Now, the other thing they don't have is drawer fronts for 21 inch base cabinets. So they offer a 21 inch base, but they don't have the drawer fronts. So if you're designing a kitchen and you need a 21 inch space, know that you can only have two options, shelving or pullouts, which is fine, but why not just have drawer fronts if you have the pullouts for it? I have a design solution specifically for IKEA kitchens on my website. Check it out sometime when you get a chance. There's a link below. Quality is one of the issues that a lot of people talk about when they're thinking about putting in an IKEA kitchen. And one of the questions I get asked a lot about is, are they good quality? I guess you could say they are, and I guess you could say they aren't, depending on what your version of quality is. Now, in my opinion, if you're going to go with an RTA ready to assemble line of cabinets, Ikea is probably your best choice. Like beauty, quality sometimes is in the eye of the beholder. If you're stuck on having cabinets that are definitely made out of plywood and they have plywood boxes, then obviously Ikea is not for you. Just remember that mass produced does not mean poor quality. Now you might hear nightmare stories about the quality of Ikea cabinets somewhere on the internet, but you'll also find nightmare stories about Maytag appliances and Toyota cars. And those are two of the biggest companies in the world in their field. So I don't think you're gonna find a company that doesn't have nightmare stories. You have to look at the whole picture and see that, well, they're backed by a good warranty. They do have a very good product and how comfortable are you with that quality product? As a friend of mine in the industry always says, listen, we're not building playgrounds here. We're not hanging from these. These aren't monkey bars. They're cabinets. They're designed in such a way that they're going to do what they're intended to do. And for that reason, I don't think there's a concern over quality. Let's talk about legs. <laughs> Now, all their base cabinets come with legs that are adjustable, which is a great feature to have. A lot of companies have gables or sides that go right to the floor. And when installing those cabinets, you need to use wooden shims to make those level. And that's okay, but for you, the average homeowner, doing that is such a nuisance. It makes the whole process that much easier when you can just level everything by hand and get it all nice and pretty and then be done with it. You will be limited to molding selection when it comes to IKEA section cabinets. They really only have a couple choices, which I guess hasn't been a deal breaker for them, but from the world I come from, having more molding selection is generally a good thing. So if you're looking for a variety of crown moldings, you're not gonna find it with IKEA. Now that doesn't mean you can't find those same things elsewhere but if you're trying to find those within the IKEA section and their whole system, they don't have that in the system. You can still get a traditional or transitional style of kitchen by using IKEA. However, 
in my opinion, their overall vibe is more of a contemporary modern style. And so having excessive moldings doesn't really fit with that. So I don't think this is a really big deal, but it is good to know in advance when you're going to design that kitchen that if you want some kind of extensive crown molding or other type of molding work for your cabinets, you're really not going to be able to find it with IKEA. That doesn't mean you can't use what they do have to make it look great, just they don't have the selection that otherwise you'd find in another place. Now what you will find lots of are door styles. They do a great job of having a big offering of styles that you can mix and match and choose the kitchen of your dreams with. And there's companies out there in the world that make kitchen door and drawer fronts specifically for IKEA. So not only do you have what IKEA has to offer, but you have all these other companies out there that also make cabinet doors that just fit the IKEA system, which is a really good business model because IKEA kitchens are so popular, but there might not be the door style or option that you want, so you have to look elsewhere. So it's very easy to do. Now, how does this affect the price? I'm not sure every company is different and I'm sure their price points are all different as well, but to know that there's options out there that you don't have to think about, that the, someone's already done the thinking, made the sizes, and you can just purchase them for these particular cabinets, and that's a really good benefit. Probably get any style you want that's out there to make the kitchen of your dreams come true. There used to be shallow pantries and there isn't anymore. I don't know why they took them out, but they did. Now, shallow pantries are a real benefit in my opinion. Shallow storage, in my opinion, is just a real benefit. But no shallow pantry, no problem, because you can do this in other ways, just by using wall cabinets. For instance, you could take three 30-inch high wall cabinets, stack them on top of each other, put them four inches from the floor with those adjustable legs, and bam, you have yourself a shallow pantry. And you can do this with every size cabinet that they have. Let's talk about customization for a minute. IKEA has a five inch and a 10 inch drawer front. This means that if you're handy enough, you can make yourself a five inch wide base cabinet or a 10 inch wide base cabinet that's completely operable. You still have a couple options that you can make a cabinet out of existing parts. Of course, it will avoid the warranty of that cabinet because you're hacking at all the pieces. But other than that little hiccup, which isn't really a big deal in my opinion, the options there to customize some of these cabinets to get exactly what you need if that ever should arise. There's lots of hardware options as well with IKEA, so it's easy just to select those. You can do it right on the kitchen plan or put them right in there, add it to your item list, it's all good. You can also go elsewhere and maybe you'd want to go elsewhere to find the style that you want through Richelieu or Amarok or all the multiple companies that are out there that sell hardware. But one of the things you definitely should pick up, which is easy to do at IKEA as well, is a template. A hardware template is an invaluable tool, especially if you are installing these cabinets yourself. You definitely don't want to be there with a tape measure and pieces of tape putting on with your pencil where all the little holes have to go to drill your knobs or your handles. A simple piece of plastic can make all the difference, especially if you're just doing this once and you want to get it done and get it done right. If you're going to be doing this for a living, then this rinky-dink plastic thing is probably not the way you want to go. I have a tool for that that I'll show you in a second. All right, seconds up. If you're going to do multiple installations of IKEA cabinets or any type of cabinets, this is something that you'd probably want to get. This is from True Position Tools, and it is a jig. Just a cabinet hardware jig. These things turn, you can, you can move them. It's got all the measurements on there. And this thing goes up and down so you can get it. Oh, there we go. You can get it exactly how you want it. You can set it and forget it. You can put it on every door, drill it exactly in the right spot, no matter the size hardware you have, whether you have knobs, whether you have handles. So it's very, very convenient. It comes with an extender for those extra long handles that I just love that you can install and it allows you to go any size that you want. Plus, when you're drilling a hole, it has these pilot holes that you can drill right through to keep your drill bit exactly where it needs to be. When you're drilling a drawer front or a door without one of these, the potential potential is there that you can go off a little bit and even a little bit off on a drawer front or a door makes it really difficult to install that handle properly. You end up with a screw kind of sideways and it can kind of be a mess and you could potentially ruin a door or a drawer front. So pick yourself up one of these if you think you're going to be installing multiple kitchens maybe in the future or something you maybe think you want to get into. True Position Tools has a great one. I thank them for sending me this, and there's a link in the description below where you can get one of these. I highly recommend you do it if that's uh, what your aim is. Because kitchen installations can go awry, IKEA has a mini kitchen system that I think you should take a look at 
if you think you're going to be without a kitchen for an extended length of time. For under $500, you can get a fridge, an induction cooktop, the sink comes with it, you can get taps, the whole thing so you can have a functioning unit that at least you can <laughs> make some toast and you know boil some noodles. This is a bonus tip, 11, I guess. I don't know, I haven't been counting. But you should definitely plan for delays and stock shortages when you're doing your IKEA kitchen. Plan early, buy early, get it out of the store into your house early so that it's not stuck there and someone can oversell it on you by accident. That you don't know, any, anything can happen when it's in the store, but at least when it's in your house, you have it, you own it, it's there. Even if it's sitting in the garage or downstairs or in the living room waiting for months, at least you know you have it. So get the pieces, get them early, and plan ahead because stock shortages just happens to be a thing in the world right now, and it's continuing to be a thing even with IKEA. And if you want even more help with your IKEA kitchen, this video has expert tips on how to organize it you don't want to miss.